Hey, I'm Gary, representing Living for Good Awakenings, and we are at the Billy Graham uh, Library outside of Charlotte, and uh, let's check it out. because it comes right out of the book of Psalms where God said, every animal of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand people. <laughs> Woo-hoo, imagine that. Why, I bet you're surprised that I can do more than just mmm. Ooh-wee. You move into the theater down the way. I get moving. I get moving. I get moving. Inspire their deepest spiritual yearnings in Billy's powerful and compelling message. They were not disappointed. He tells us to walk not by feeling but by faith. I said when you don't feel anything, God may be closer to you then than ever before. Sunday, and persuaded Billy to go here visiting evangelist Mordecai Hatton. And it was on the last verse of the last song that they sang, and about 400 people went forward the night I did. And when I stood there, I thought to myself, what a fool I made for myself in front of all my friends here. The next day, when I went back to school, sure enough. She made her way to dress herself, if she's not been here before. Christ at his right hand. We thank thee that our faith and confidence can be in him. We can have the Billy Graham understood instinctively the power of the media. He clearly saw the critical role new communication technologies could have in reaching those who might otherwise never hear the message of salvation. So when God provided opportunities to harness that power, viewers across the country with a combined circulation of five million readers. Billy Graham made it clear many times going on and all the fighting that's going on. I'll tell you how it can be done. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples in that ye have love one to another. That is a supernatural love given to you by God when you receive Christ. I've been in places where a genuine, terrible poverty exists and it should never exist in our affluent society and we ought to do something about it. But I want to tell you there's a spiritual poverty in America that is far worse than material poverty. And many of you here tonight, well-dressed, come from nice homes, are as poor as Joe's turkey as far as God is concerned.
The role of the evangelist is to tell people in the power of the Holy Spirit with confidence that there's a way to deal with sin. And it was Jesus who said, I am the truth. When Christ comes into your life, the Holy Spirit gives you a new love for other people and a burden to tell them about Christ and His salvation. But Billy Graham realized that some questioned the importance of evangelism or ignored it completely. They insisted that social problems and not evangelism were the essential mission of the church. But Billy had no such questions in his mind. Why he stressed that Christians had a responsibility to alleviate human suffering and comfort, he was convinced it was time to urge the church to regain a biblical understanding of evangelism and to reassert its priority. Go to all the world and preach the gospel. This is the only job given by God. When a sinner knows that his sins have been forgiven, he has to go and tell others. Because this is the command of the Lord Jesus. Go and preach the gospel to all the world. Evangelists aren't called evangelist Gray. I remember when they first started calling me that I resented. I thought of emotionalism, big collections, anti-intellectualism. All of those things came to my mind when they talked about evangelists and an evangelist. And I didn't want to be called an evangelist until I began to realize here was a great biblical word. The word evangelist means herald. He's a herald of truth, God's truth. I don't make up the truth. It's God's truth that I'm heralding, that I'm speaking, I'm announcing good news that God loves you and is willing to forgive you and change you. I believe that every born again Christian has been given the charge to be an evangelist. This is not a suggestion, this is a command from the Lord Jesus Christ who we love and serve. Maybe we won't be directly preaching, but by the way we live, by the way we love the people with whom we come in contact, we can introduce them to people who have been given the gift of preaching. We have to set an example to each other. Set an example for believers, as Paul wrote to Timothy, in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. We have to set an example. The power of the Holy Spirit with confidence that there's a way to deal with sin. And it was Jesus who said, I am the truth. When Christ comes...
<laughs> All right. Hey, I'm Gary. I'm representing Living for Good Awakenings. Uh, and thank you for watching this one. This was a quick video of our visit to right outside Charlotte is the Billy Graham Library and Memorial or it's a celebration of who he was. But it it is awesome. It is well worth the visit. I would encourage you to visit if you're anywhere near Charlotte. It is a must do. Uh, it's absolutely free. Uh, but I would encourage you to consider giving and um, making a contribution um, because you never know who will walk through those doors and receive Christ into their life. And it was awesome. That place uh, provides the opportunity for that. But it also is just, it's enlightening and it's inspiring. It's amazing what God can do with one man who accepts accepts Christ in his heart and says, yes, I'll serve you. And uh, so this man was called to do that. He went all around the whole world preaching to millions and saving millions. Who knows the number? God knows, but hundreds of thousands, I'm sure, thousands. But even if you save just one, you're in the will of God <laughs> and and uh yeah that's it thanks for watching this one i like i say i'm gary thanks for uh sticking through to the end and watching this and uh i'll see you on the next one mm.